Welcome back ladies and gents. In this video, I'm going to go through how to work out the domain and range of a composite function. So we have a function f of x with a restricted domain. We have a function g of x with a restricted domain. I want to find the domain of f of g of x and the range of f of g of x. Now the input of our function represents the domain. The output of our function represents the range. Let's have a look at the domain of f of g of x. I've got x. I put it into the function g to give me g of x. Now the input of g has to satisfy x is greater than 8. So x is greater than 8. Now I'll take g of x and I put it into the function f to give me f of g of x. The import of f has to satisfy x is less than 0. Now g of x is our import for f. Hence we must have that g of x is less than 0. So x has to be greater than 8 and g of x has to be less than 0. Now g of x is 12 minus a half x, which has to be less than 0. I can go ahead and solve this particular inequality. So the first step will give me minus a half x is less than minus 12. Therefore, x has to be bigger than 24. So x is greater than 8 and x is greater than 24. The overlap is therefore x is greater than 24. So x is greater than 24 represents the domain of f of g of x. You can also include x is an element of the real number set. So I've got the domain of f of g of x. Now to find the range of f of g of x, I'm going to sketch f of g of x for its restricted domain. Before I sketch f of g of x for its restricted domain, I'm going to first find the equation for f of g of x. f of g of x is the same as writing f in square brackets g of x. So g of x is the input. So I can write f in brackets 12 minus a half x. So if I replace the x in f with 12 minus a half x, I get the following result. 12 minus a half x in bracket squared minus 16. Now we can make two observations. This particular quadratic will be a positive quadratic because if you expand this, you'll get a positive coefficient for x squared. The other observation is that this particular quadratic is in vertex form. Hence, we can read off the coordinates for the turning point. The x coordinate for the turning point is calculated by setting 12 minus a half x equal to 0. If I solve this particular equation, I get x equal 24. The y coordinate for the turning point will just be minus 16. So the coordinate for the turning point is just 24 minus 16. We have a positive quadratic, so the shape will be a U-shape. And we're going to sketch it for the restricted domain. X is greater than 24. X is an element of the real number set. After sketching f of g of x is equal to 12 minus a half x in bracket squared minus 16, for this restricted domain, I get something like this. Notice that the circle over here is not shaded because x equal 24 is not included in the domain. Now, to work out the range for f of g of x, I need to focus on the y-axis. In particular, I'm going to be looking at 
this portion here. So the range of f of g of x is therefore going to be f of g of x is greater than minus 16. f of g of x is an element of the real number set. So that there is the range for f of g of x. This completes the question. If you found this video useful, please don't forget to subscribe.